Well, love from love, hope from hope. Uh, Linda and I are here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and to her left, yeah, you can see this mural uh, here is beautiful. I'll give you a quick uh, close-up focus of that. Uh, Linda and I are here visiting uh, uh, my uh, nephew Bronson in the hospital, but I wanted to share this with people, that uh, uh, what this uh, is saying is that to uh, the right of the landscape, it's barren, filled with rocks and dry sand. And the people are sick in this mural, and they are desperate. The sky is filled with dark clouds. To his left, to Christ's left, the landscape is lush with beautiful plants, uh, fig trees uh, uh, full and ripe, and grapevines overflowing. The people are healthy and filled with uh awe over the glory of God who stand under the shadow of his healing and the sky is bright and the people looking unto him have both shelter and water from a well that never ever runs dry for he is the living water and the Holy Spirit is represented in the clouds over Christ Jesus. Uh, and in, in this, uh, there's a sense of movement in this sculpture from darkness unto light, from sadness unto joy, and from illness unto health, and from the dryness of the desert unto the richness of the garden. And this same change identically happens to each and every one of us, for he's calling each of our names as if we were the only one. Uh, and it is through Jesus alone through which all things are possible. And absolutely no man goes unto the Father except through Christ's love. And the, his love has gone before us. And I'm going to give you a better look here. And uh, people, you know, the world has been under a delusion about about this central character of this uh, here uh, beautiful mural. There is Christ right in the middle uh, patting the little girl on uh, the head and there's a lady uh, praying there at uh, his feet and another touching the hem of his garment and there is uh, crutches being healed and people coming in on uh, stretcher with guards and uh but the delusion that people have about christ jesus who is isa yeshua jesus the majesty of majesties hero of heroes simply is that he does not love us people Get that in your head. He never has loved us. He absolutely adores us with the kind of devotion and faithfulness and loyalty that only love alone can bring. We have only seen the tip of the iceberg of this one. And now it's time to the veil must be removed. And as it is, all nations will see that his love has been far deeper than any of us have ever imagined. It's time for the sick to be healed, the sick of heart, so that they can shine under the most splendid magnificence of his beneficent love that goes before him as a flood of his love. People in this hour, his... his uh, floodgates are opening. He's pouring out his living water upon all flesh. Say to that flood of love to stop in the middle of your dried up and barren valley. He will not obey you. He will rip up all your dead trees uh, and right down to the roots and cast them away. For if he did not prune you uh, as the great gardener uh, of all, then he would not love you. And neither would I if I did not sing his praises. And Linda, too. Linda's here. Say goodbye to Linda. And uh, Linda was going to say a message Jesus. to Bronson. No, um, the rings of... Oh, okay. But you say something to Bronson. Rings. Oh, okay. And you all have a good day. Love you all. Bye.